All right, what's up guys? We're back at it here at Varnas. Um, today we're gonna do um, the track and balance and the maintenance checks on this helicopter. This has been fresh out of 600 hours maintenance. This is the H125 B3E, um, equivalent to that of the AS350 B3E. Different names for many dear children. <laughs> or whatever you say um, here we are we're doing the taps now we had a little uh, uh, vertical vibration on the main rotor so we're doing a little tab on that to see if we can't get rid of that and it's always interesting when you do these kinds of things because this thing has been out of 600 hours which means complete gearbox gone engine gone tail gearbox everything gone all of the bits and bolts have been removed and uh, and so that's always interesting you know uh, thinking about that but hey that's just the joy of it um, so we're shortly ready now to do uh, doing the tabs and then we're gonna do a little plate up here on the main rotor there's these little plates up there um, that goes uh, on the horizontal axis of the vibration measurement. And there's plenty of things going on here. We have the Dash 8 from Vidra starting up. I have an old Fokker 50 standing over there. The temperature is minus 5. It's super beautiful outside. There's some snow on the horizon. But uh, the weather is just beautiful. And when we do these checks, we fly up to uh, over there, do what we need to do, and uh, we'll get that on film now so you can see what it looks like. Okay, we'll talk a little bit English. Yeah. Yes. All right. Here with Mr. Kim Friberg. He's the technical guy. Oh, no, Kim Johnson, not Friberg. Kim Johnson, sorry, sorry. Got that wrong. <laughs> um, ready to go? Yep. Ready. Er det transport for? Request uh, lift and hover uh, over Fatu Juliet. Er transport for uh, lift and taxi Fatu Juliet, uh, am I right? As requested then, er transport for. Launchman 752, first right, Yankee stand 35. First to the right. Did you want to do the two second lift? Yeah, do the two second lift. Okay, ready? Yep, we're gonna do a lift off in two seconds. Three, two, one. Zero drop. Nice. That's perfect. So if we just can hold, hold here, we'll we'll do we'll do a bit before, before we depart. Before we depart. Yep. So now we're just doing a high hover, which is a little out of ground effect, and we're doing the checks on the main rotor. Yeah. To see whether or not we're in limits. Yeah. We'll see if we have the vertical vibration or not. Yep. Well, that's good, so we can go. Okay. Clear to go, Lima And I'll transport four request departure to your set. Sergeant 44, wind 110 4 knots, Fatuulet 18, clear takeoff for your set. Fatuulet 18, clear takeoff for your set. Transport. Alright, everything's in the green. Let's go. Yeah. Then go to 120 knots. is off and then we're pulling the power as close as possible to the max continuous power which is the start of the yellow field here without over torquing the aircraft since we're over 40 knots we gotta stay below 92.7 percent in the torque so adding just a slight limit to that so we're at 89% torque. 
Ooh, look at that. This is the lateral uh, uh, value, so we will do that first. Uh, it's a little bit off, but uh, that we will adjust with the plates, the main rotor head. Yep. Then we will do the vertical check as well. And these things are me measured in IPS, which is uh, acceleration in inches per second, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it moved an inch. says 0 0.079 inches per yeah. second, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's good. Uh, the limit is 0 0.2. Yes, so that is uh, very nice. So we are within the limits. Uh, we need to do adjustments in lateral, but that we'll do with plates. Uh, so we need to go back on the ground to do that. But uh, before we do that, I think we should uh, uh, do the, oh, uh, the power transient and check. And uh, the engine power check. Okay. Whichever you will begin with. Yeah, the engine power check would be nice. Engine power check coming up. All right. To do the engine power check, we are gonna be at max continuous power for two minutes, according to the flight manual. I haven't really measured it out, but we are gonna start it now. And as before, I will add just a slight limit so I don't go to and over torque the aircraft since you can only use the max takeoff power when you are below 40 knots but for the purposes of what we're doing this is sufficient and here it's showing the progress of uh, the engine power check just you checking know, the parameters the touch and go zero all power in zero nine zero three five knots so i'm zero nine clear touch and go clear the touch and go on the mother of alpha Oh, it takes forever. 130 knots of indicated airspeed. And the results are good and good. We document that. Yeah, so let's uh, proceed with uh, some P2 airspeed checks. Yep. So, heating on, off, yada yada. Yeah. Okay. The move is stabilized first. Let's stabilize at normal cruise, which is 7.5 on the first limit. TOT 695 degrees in the barbecue. Yeah. 690. Let's, Let's start with the heating. Heating first. Increase to 705. 10. Then uh, the missing. Yep. That's a delta value, which is normal. And then do demists from 690 to... You can put the uh, heating well. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. do much. 710, yeah. 75, something yeah. like that. Looks good. Just to show that there's an increase when you turn on the heater. That's the purpose of that check. Yeah, okay. so uh, the only thing that we still uh, have to do now is do the power transient check, which is uh, going up on a higher altitude, and then we we're gonna drop the pitch from uh, max continuous power to full low pitch in two seconds. Yep. And then uh, we will increase the pitch from 1% uh, torque to max continuous power in three seconds. Okay. And then uh, we'll do the procedure all over again, but we'll do it in two seconds. Yeah, and this is done at VY, right? The it says VY. Yeah, 65 knots. Let's see if I can maintain that. So we're gonna go, go to the max climb. Go back again. Go walk swim off for the water. Climb 6,000 feet. And that's gonna climb like a goddamn rocket two. ship. Skydive at the 4159. First round. Go walk swim off for the water. 6,000 feet. Squawk 2572. Okay, so 50 knots. Passing through 1500. So I'm going to 
accelerate. 50, 60, here it goes. 3, 2, and 1. Yep, that's good. Yep. Then I'm going to maintain 65 knots. And then do the opposite in 3 seconds without over torquing the aircraft. So that's roughly 65 knots. I'm going to do that now in 3, 2, 1. 1,000, 2,000. Okay, so let's pause the video right there and talk about the tone you just heard. The, uh, the tone you just heard is the helicopter warning me that if I continue the power increase at this rate, the uh, transient rating is or will be, be exceeded. And that's a really handy feature of this helicopter. That's good. Lima, nice. Alpha, request uh, then it says we should uh, also back. check it in two seconds. Oh, that's the harder <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to over torque. Yeah, because as soon as you pass 92.7, you have. We'll just try it. Yeah. And this is difficult. Yep, it's not an easy task. Okay, let's pause the video right here and uh, let's talk a little bit about why I'm calling this the more difficult test. And I'm referring to the two seconds in which you're going to apply full power up to max continuous power uh, from being all the way to the bottom with the power setting. Now there, um, the dilemma is that you actually have to do it in accordance with, otherwise the test loses its um, purpose. Because if you were to save it and go slow, you would miss the purpose. And then again, on the other hand, if you go too fast, you might end up over torquing the aircraft. Sixty-nine ish. This one says more sixty-five. Yep. Passing that. through one thousand four. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. One thousand. Two thousand. <laughs> Ja, der fikk vi faktisk en... Jeg synes jeg så det blinket av gult, jeg. Ja. Yep. Gjorde det? Ja, jeg tenkte at det så ut som at det var gult. Ja. Men jeg klarte ikke å sjekke hva verdien Nei. var. Nei, ikke jeg heller. Vi må bare sjekke når vi... Ja. Heli transport 4, you're set to request return for landing. Heli transport 4, join final fatu ule 36. Join final, final fatu ule 36, heli transport 4. Other station call. Okay, so uh, we're back in the hangar now. Um, we pull it in, and now I'm going to show you those plates I was talking about. And they are up here. So, what we did is that we did the balancing thing, bang, and then the thing, the micro bib is what it's called, it gives us these kind of solutions where we add or subtract blades, plates, sorry, to uh, several different places. This is one of them. And then there and there obviously as well. And it refers to them as the, the red, the blue, and the yellow. And that's in the, like the 120 degree apart uh, rotor system that this one has. And then that moves the vibration solution or the vibration problem to wherever um, it says it will do but it doesn't always seem to fit that much and you, you gotta go sometimes by uh, uh, you actually have to try and then the other thing that we did that was the trim tab and that's the things on the end here those are the trim tabs so you use a special tool to bend these to change the track of the blade and that's like when you have the blades they will rotate in the same plane or one goes higher or lower and then that causes vibrations that you need to solve and and so that's that's what we did and then the other day we did the tail rotor where you have the shaft that goes inside this cowling here uh, and the solutions on these things are these little screws here there's washers and stuff um, 
that you add or subtract and then I'm not entirely sure which other places but that obviously changes the the, the balance of where on the diagram the balance lies and I don't know if I have the schematic here but it, it outlines a circle with many degrees and things and it's all measured in inches per second so that's what this was all about uh, we did this one it was out of a 600 hours um, and the maintenance check flights is kind of exciting because it's you get to do these power checks that I showed you um, with huge power increases we had the little boo-boo uh, which I'm also going to include in the video uh, where on the flame out check that you do you first do it in a three second interval and that's a big difference from the two second one and that's where it went kind of wrong it's where we exceeded the torque limitation on the main rotor where we I mean I <laughs> um, for less than we're not in 100% sure but it's for sure less than half a second uh, at 93.5 uh, main rotor torque uh, engine torque so I'm gonna include that in the video because it's I think it's great educational purposes for people to see how these things work uh, and the kind of difficulty level of it because it is slightly difficult to be honest with you because uh, because you have to do it by um, uh, one rehearsal and then uh, doing it many times and then you have to combine that with extreme caution so you don't exceed, exceed the vehicle limitations. All right, so we're gonna cut it there. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a comment, like, thumbs up, whatever. Um, and here, uh, especially if you've done the, uh, the two second test, the uh, flame out uh, test, uh, if you ever had any boo-boos with that, love to hear from you. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.